Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. As promised, this is the start of the Small Ship Grown Large series in which I want to show you my way of building a Small Ship Grown Large and give you tips and ideas for your own build. But before we actually start, I would like to raise your awareness of Quantum Joe's channel and his current Space Engineer series, The Void. I think he's doing a very good job on this one and definitely deserves more viewers. So if you are looking for a cool new channel to sub to, this would be my proposal. But now for the actual video. Today I want to cover the real basics. And we will start off with topic number one. What is a small ship gone large? Well, basically it's a small ship that is built like a large ship. That means you can walk inside it, have an interior and, if you do it right, a very high level of detail. But be aware of the following. Building such a ship takes a very long time. As an example, the TIS Shogun took me around 60 hours. So don't expect to build something like this in a few hours between two meals. Now, that brings us right to the second point on my list, the pros and cons. On the pro side, well obviously we have the high level of detail and the look. Also, if you're doing it right, you can have a lot of features inside the small package. And in my opinion, a well-made small ship gone large feels a lot more alive. And in most cases, they have a decent size compared to large ships with the same feature count. The cons are admittedly pretty severe. First off, those ships are pretty demanding when it comes to the performance of your PC. To run a small ship gone large, your PC should be somewhat up to date. Also, if building ships like I do, including a lot of pistons, hinges and rotors to unfold and hide stuff, you have to be aware of the serious stability issues space engineers have with those at the moment. That means you can't fly at max speed and do harsh turns, otherwise those movable parts will rip apart your ship. But if you treat your ship gently, flying even those ships is doable. And, last but not least, you need a lot of mods. Otherwise, you will be missing a lot of crucial blocks, simple as that. Speaking of mods, besides the ones used for the look only, there are a few mods out there that I think are always needed to build a small ship like this. And I'll link them all in the description. First off, the small ship mega mod pack. This mod pretty much enables all blocks for small ship size, like windows, gravity generators and oxygen parts. So yeah, if I would call a mod indispensable, it is this one. Next one is the Azimuth Complete Mega Mod Pack. This pack contains a lot of blocks I frequently use, for example the flight seat, the reactors and of course the thrusters. Third and fourth on my list are the reworked armor ramps and panels, just to give your ship a smoother look and to cover up and hide some sections with a nice flat panel. Also you can use those to add some detail to your ship later on. Number five are the blaster sections, which I use to provide moving parts with enough room to move freely without having a giant gap all around them and to make those areas less noticeable. Also, those are very useful if you are having a lot of moving parts in a small area like landing gears or ramps. And finally, number six, the conveyor hinges. I think this is one of the best mods out there, providing you with hinges that work like a rotor and makes unfolding stuff much easier and smaller. Okay, now that we have those out of the way, how do we start this one? One thing I always tend to do is writing down what I want to build, simple as that. Note down the main features it shall have like hideable weapons, a VTOL drive, stuff like that. Also think about the crew size and make some sketches about how you want the ship to look like. But be aware, those are just a first sketch and your build will most probably change drastically while building. Which is good. Ok, now for the last part of this episode, the running chassis. Just build the shape of your ship as a flat surface. Don't worry, this is not final, but build it as big as you think your ship is gonna be. Then place a cockpit roughly in the position your cockpit will be in your finished build. Attach the thrusters to all directions, also a gyroscope and a reactor to power this up. And this, my friends, is where we will continue on the next episode, coming out shortly. If you have questions or things you would like me to cover on my next episode, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you like this video, do the thumb thingy and leave a comment or even a sub. And I hope to see you all next time, and as always, keep on engineering and cheers!